This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends and once again welcome to PIHUsolutions.com. My name is Amit and today I'm going to show you Groovy example number five. It's a tiny and simple example. In this example, I would show you how do you identify the cell which are modified or list of cell which are modified from a data form. And this list of modified cell you can display using print or collect in a string object or a collection and dynamically you can pass this list of modified cell in a fixed expression and so that you can limit the scope of fixed expression so let's get started so first i'm going to write very simple expression a simple rule which will just display the cell which are modified in this example i have chosen this data form a simple data form which display list of products across different months, January, February, March, and these are the product sales. It could be product sales, expenses, or anything. I like to display the list of products which are modified. So let's get started. I am going to create a simple rule, which will iterate through entire data form and display only those cells which are modified. So let's create a rule. Rule first, create new rule, right click. This is example number five. So I give a groovy test five. And I switch to groovy script view. The default is designer view. I go to edit script and switch to groovy script view. The script type is groovy script. Default is the calculation. Sometime it's it is a little slow in rendering. Change script type as a groovy script. Okay. So likewise in previous example, when you want to iterate through entire data form, you use operation dot grid dot data cell iterator. But unlike previous example, in this example, I would like to iterate only for one column, and you can give a column name over here, January. So January being the first column, probably you have got data in multiple column and you like to track only for column January. So I can pass a member name, January dot each. Okay, rather than iterate through entire data form, I like to iterate only those form, those that you can modify. So I'm going to create a data cell object, data cell, and you can give a name over here, any name. I give a name over here, cell, and I use a reference operator arrow operator okay now the first thing you can simply do it you can display the which cell is got modified so how do you do that cell dot edited object it return boolean value true and false the cell got modified it returned true as it return false so i'll display them in a sequence save and validate this rule will not do anything specific just display true and false for the cell which got modified and I'm going to deploy it first. So save, validate, and deploy this rule. The deployment done successfully, then I'm going to associate this rule with my data form. The sample data form I created, I just now shown you. Open the form into edit mode and associate this rule. In this example, I'm going to associate this rule before save event. So go to business rule. Uh, there's a rule called groovy rule five, test five. And when you want to run this rule, I want to run this before save. So rule will run followed by save take place. Finish and now let's test this. So this will display print, uh, print uh, in your application job, log file. So open groovy test five, Modify a handful of uh, product. So I'm going to display a couple of product. Last three or four products I'm going to modify training, miscellaneous, and so on. Okay, only for January month it will display. 
293 plus keyboard whatever is the product id for the same do no we need to look at this and hit the save button so you see the rule run runs the rule runs successfully and then followed by the data save took place now let's check the output of this uh, job in you know, application a job the output is just a print expression application job and the rule ran successfully 20 second before look at the job and look at the job status because i display a print expression it display false false true false only those cell which are modified or product which are modified it displays true right so it browse through entire and you see bottom three these three product got modified 291 292 293 you could also display product name which are modified rather than displaying true and false so let's modify the same expression now i know how do you identify the cell which are modified you can display this with the if expression if cell got modified display list of products okay so you can display list of product same way you can display them print ln and cell dot uh, get member name that member name the cell which got modified so i'll display the product with the dimension the product dimension what cell from the product dimension got modified okay because it is under if expression so rather than displaying all display only those cell which are modified save and validate and deploy okay there is an error product cell dot get member name i need to put this under double quotes they will validate and deploy this time upon save this will display only those product which are edited okay now test it again i open my data form once again Group it test five, and once again I modify a handful of cell or products. So first I product modify product product X, and then last three products so that it is easy to uh, remember what product got modified. Two nine two two nine three two ninety four and product X. Hit the save button. Product X is one one zero. So you see the rule ran successfully, followed by data data save take place. Now the rule ran, and you can see the output under application job. Look at application job, uh, application. Job. Look at the status of your. The rule ran successfully 29 seconds before. Look at the job status completed, and here the list of the product. These are the list of the product which got modified: 100, 100, 129, 229, sorry, 292, 293, 294. These four product got modified. Now you can save this output in a collection and pass this in a uh, fixed expression so that dynamically you can generate a fixed expression. This is what we're going to do in the next example. First, I'm going to collect this in a uh, in a string collection object. So I'm going to create a new string collection object. Set this is how you can create a string object and name it something. I'm going to give a name called str str products. Okay, and this is dynamically. Uh, because we do not know the size right now, I'm going to create as an empty collection. It has a dynamic size. Okay. 
and rather than displaying this you can display this and in addition to this you can put into your collection object so i'm going to put this in my collection object so str name of your collection object str product you use append expression cell dot get member name and name of the dimension is product what will happen all the products which are modified will be collected in the collection string object and subsequently if you wish you can display this i'm going to display this outside my if expression print ln and the entire collection object you can use the same collection object in your fixed expression in order to dynamically generate fixed expression that's it save and validate no error and deploy it and once again i'm going to test it so go back to your data form modify some cell this time i modify four cell bottom two and top two bottom two and top two hit save button on save the rule run take place so rule got run successfully followed by data save take place close it and check this in your application job first check the groovy script run successfully or not and look at the log the groovy run script run successfully 17 seconds before the status job status the list of the products uh oh yeah the list of product which got modified i should have put it within the if expression in order to avoid the duplicate you know so i would rather put this under print expression a tiny change so that we can see only those product which are modified this is an expected output this i was expecting if you put within an if expression so these are the product which got modified 292 294 and p00 triple zero and p110 100 okay in next example i would show you how to use this collection and you pass this to a string object and in turn to fixed expression and dynamically generate a fixed expression. So that's it for today. Should you have any question, please feel free to reach to bisbsolutions.com. Thank you.